Hello guys, so today we'll be going through the 2024 ANSI 10B problems 1 through 5. And if you haven't already, subscribe and, well, it gives us a lot of motivation to keep going and to keep making these videos. Number 1. In a long line of people arranged left to right, the 1113th person from the left is also the 1010th person from the right. How many people are in the line? Let's say this person from the left. There's 113 people, so from here, there's 113, sorry, not 113, yeah, 1,013 people. From here, there's 1,010 people. We notice that we can do 1,013 plus 1,010, but we, but we double count this guy. So we subtract 1, and this gets us 2022. B. Next one. What is 10 factorial minus 7 factorial times 6 factorial? We can factor out a 7 factorial, 7 factorial. 7 factorial, we get 10 times 9 times 8, minus 6 factorial. This is 720, and 6 factorial is also 720. So we get 7 factorial times 0. zero. How many integer values of x is after the value of 2x less than or equal to 7 pi? So 7 pi is 3.14 times 7, which is 21.98. So, 2x is less than or equal to 21.98. So we get x is equal to 10, 9, dot, 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 to 1, 0, and then negative because there's absolute values. E. Balls numbered 1, 2, 3 are deposited in 5 bins labeled A, B, C, D, and E using the following procedure. Ball 1 is deposited in ball a, bin A, balls 2 and 3 are deposited in bin B, the next 3 balls are deposited in bin C, and the next 4 in bin D, and so on. Which ball is when bin, is, sorry, in which bin is ball 2024 deposited? So, we have bins A, B, C, D, and E, number of ball deposited. We get one ball by positive two, three, four, five, and then ten, and then sorry not ten, six, seven, dot, dot, dot. So we get x times x plus one over two is around twenty twenty four. Because we want to find the twenty twenty fourth ball. So we find that x is equal to sixty three works because sixty three times thirty two is six one two nine eighteen six two. 610 2016. So on the 63rd bin, there are 2016 balls in total. So in the 64th, so or bin D, there will be 2024 20, balls. So bin D, D. Lastly, problem five, in which following expression, Melanie changed some of the plus signs to minus signs. When the new expression was evaluated, it was negative. What is the least possible number plus signs that Melanie could change to minus signs? So let's try it. So first of all, we notice that 1 plus at dot 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 to x, where uh, some odd integers, is just x over 2. Sorry. It's just m squared. So what we notice is that, for example, 1 plus 3, this is 3 over 2 plus 1 squared, or 4, right? So 5 plus 3 plus 1 is 9, and 5 plus 1 over 2 is 3, and 3 squared is 9. So we just have to figure out how plus minus is zero. So if there's 14 plus, uh, minuses, then there's 1 plus all the way to 71, and then 73 minus to 99. This is 14 minuses, because we passed 28 numbers, and that's 14 subtractions. So 1 all the way to 71 is 71 plus 1 is 72, so this is 36 squared. And this is 50 um, squared minus 36 squared. So we get 2 times 36 squared minus 50 squared. We know 50 squared is 2, 500. And we know that 36 squared times 36, 2, 16, 8, 1, 0. 
1926 times 2 is obviously greater, so this is positive still. So 14 is not an option. Now let's try 15. 15, we do the same strategy. We're going to do 1 plus all the way to 73 this time. I mean, not 73, 69 this time. Minus 71 minus that, that's 99. So we, we know the drill. This is just 35 squared minus 50 squared minus 35 squared. So this is 2 times 35 squared minus 50 squared. 35 times 35 is 175, uh, 105, uh, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 5, 1, 2, 2, 5 times 2 is 2, 4, 50. And 2, 4, 50 minus 2, 500 is negative, And this works. Thank you for watching.